Hey Sparky friends, I hope you had a fantastic Easter. It's me, Mr. Rich, and we're getting together one more time for a little chat and um, wanted to follow up with Easter and how much we can learn about change. The thing about Easter is so many of the disciples were one way before Jesus was crucified and rose again, and they were completely different afterwards. So I wanted to talk about the cause of that change. When Mary and Mary Magdalene went to that tomb, what do you think they expected? They expected Jesus to be in that tomb when they went there, but he wasn't. Here's a little bit of a object lesson to help explain what I'm talking about. So here's an example of what the disciples might have experienced. When we see eggs, we expect something to be inside them. So when we take an egg and we open it, an egg comes out. The yolk and the white come out. But here's the thing. When the disciples were witnesses to Jesus being buried and they saw what had happened and the tomb itself was sealed, they expected there to be something inside. But when Mary and Magdalene, Mary and Mary Magdalene went to the tomb expecting what they thought was gonna happen, but what really happened was nothing was there. Jesus was gone and the tomb was empty. So just like you would be surprised if you opened an egg and there was nothing inside, just imagine what it was like when they went to the tomb and nothing was there and Jesus was not inside. So once Mary and Mary Magdalene found that the tomb was empty and they ran back and told the disciples, everything began to change. The way they lived their lives and the words they spoke began to change. Everything became real. When Jesus appeared, he brought the miraculous. But when Jesus appeared, he brought a real situation to us that our lives were important to him. So how we live our lives and how we walk through our life is very important. Just like the two eggs, where one was as we expected and two, it was empty. Just like the tomb, everyone expected Jesus to still be in that tomb, but the tomb was empty. He had risen. He had proven everything that he had said to be true about himself and God and that changed everything and that started the challenge of the two areas in our lives that uh, that Jesus challenges us in a real way what we expect of things that we see and how we do and things we're comfortable with and things that Jesus expects us to do with our lives since he paid the price for them. So as we go through our day, what is important to you? There's lots of time to play and to read and watch TV and video games and and, and maybe spend time with uh, the people we're around right now. But what's really important? Are we still working on our verses? Are we reading our Bibles? Are we having a devotion time so we can think upon the words of Jesus and his followers? So just remember, Easter was the reminder that Jesus was exactly who he said he was. And he proved that God was exactly who Jesus explained him to be. So in this time, just remember what's important. That's what Jesus wanted to remind all the disciples when he showed himself after he rose from the dead, before he ascended to heaven. What is important? Stay in the word stay in prayer, find a devotion, and read it with family. If you have older brothers and sisters or younger brothers and sisters, encourage them and be an example to them. Be in the Word always, celebrating the life, the Word, and the knowledge that can only come from our Lord Jesus Christ. And I'll see you next week.